Greetings, Popstar Citizen here, back with a basic flight tutorial using the keyboard and mouse. So here we are, uh, this is what shows up uh, when you launch Star Citizen. And to practice flight and to learn the basics, we're not gonna go into the Persistent Universe, we're gonna go to Arena Commander. And uh, since we're not quite ready to face uh, other players or even bots, we're just gonna do a single player and you want this to say free flight. If it doesn't, you just click on it. You can select from all kinds of uh, pirate swarm. They'll throw different pirates at you. Vandal, obviously they'll throw Vandal. Uh, and then a classic race is simply a racing uh, game. There's no combat, but there's racing. We're gonna go with free flight for now. And uh, where we are doesn't really matter. I'm gonna choose Broken Moon because that's kind of the, the first one that they did. Uh, select your ship. We're going to use the Anvil Hornet since that's a pretty common ship and probably a ship you'll be flying if you play Squadron 42. And launch. And this will put us in, uh, by our, all by ourselves without any enemies to worry about uh, as we learn how to swim. <laughs> as we learn how to take our first steps in space. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to know is uh, what is the actual key map of this game. Uh, what buttons do what? Well, I'll walk you through some of that, but if you ever have any doubt or you forget which one does what, you can always hit escape, go to options, key bindings, and uh, there is, uh, there are several actual uh, images here that show you the default controls. So this is flight advanced, so it's got all kinds of different stuff. You could also use uh, flight basic, and it takes a lot of them away and it just tells, tells you the basics of what you need to know. And then uh, there's also on foot, EVA, all kinds of different things. So if you ever forget anything, you can always come back to options, key bindings, and take a look here. So here we are in the cockpit of our Anvil Hornet. And uh, the first thing you're gonna do before you do anything else, as we're learning, uh, we're just going to hit the V key until all of our safeties are on. So there we go. We're coupled, we've got G-Safe on, we've got comms tab on, and then ESP is on also, but that, uh, that has more to do with combat. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I'll talk more about what those things mean as we get into this, but let's first just, that's gonna prevent us from kind of destroying ourselves as we learn to fly. Uh, so uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about pitch and yaw, which is basically just aiming. So when you move the mouse, you're going to see this reticle. And this reticle changes where the nose of your ship is facing. So if you move the reticle up, then your nose starts moving up. If you move the reticle down, your nose starts moving down. We call that pitch. If you move the reticle to the left, guess what? Your nose starts moving to the left, same thing for the right. So you get the idea. Uh, wherever this reticle is aiming, it, your, your nose of your ship is going to automatically try and point in that direction. Uh, so uh, this also works when you're moving, and this is how we fly around. So the next thing, I've, so I've got my right hand obviously is going to be on my mouse. I'm going to take my left hand, and I'm going to put it uh, on the WASD keys. And that's, that's going to tell my ship uh, to move forward and backward and strafe left and right. So if I press W, my throttle is going to go up and my ship's going to start moving forward. Now while I'm moving forward, the reticle still works and my ship will try and move in the direction that my reticle is pointing. So, uh, so now we've got throttle up. Of course, uh, we, we're going to need to slow down eventually. Uh, so that's just the S key. I'm gonna throttle down, okay? So uh, throttle up, throttle down. Now you'll notice that over here, you can. this is the actual throttle. So from zero to 100 up here is where my throttle is set, and then this zero right here uh, goes up and down according to how, how fast I'm actually going. So I can set the throttle to full speed, but you'll notice that there's a little bit of a delay because it takes that much time for my ship to get going. So if I set the throttle to full, now we're going at 185, uh, whatever, units, <laughs> units per time. Uh, that's how fast we're going. 
So uh, now in, um, in space, not only can you move forward and backward, but because there's no atmosphere and you don't have to worry about uh, uh, the flight dynamics of flying through the air, you can actually strafe left and right. And so uh, we're gonna throttle down to zero. And to strafe left and right, that's A and D. Uh, so if I press A, my ship starts moving to the left. If I press D, my ship starts moving to the right. So uh, this is a, a, a little bit different from what most people think of when they think of flying a, a, you know, a fighter jet or something like that in the atmosphere. Uh, the other thing we can do is strafe up and down. So to strafe up, you hit the space bar and you'll notice the ship moves up. To strafe down, I hit control and that's going to bring the ship down. So uh, so we've got strafing, and we've got throttling up and down. One more uh, axis that we have control over is roll, and that's conveniently the Q and E. So what roll does is roll turns you this way. It changes which direction up is, and uh, Q and E. So Q obviously rolls to the left, E rolls to the right. And when you combine all of these things, you get the ability to fly and, and, and change directions and aim and hopefully move and avoid things. <laughs> so we've learned how to, uh, how to roll, how to throttle forward, how to strafe up and down, left and right. Uh, all of those are important necessary skills. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is afterburner and boost. So uh, the, when you're throttling up, pressing X lets you boost a little bit. Uh, same thing if, uh, if you're strafing left or right, up and down. Boost is just going to give you a little bit more. It uses a different kind of fuel. So if you notice up here, this 97, it's using a different style of fuel that recharges an arena commander. Um, so uh, using boost is going to give me just a little bit more uh, oomph behind the the uh, the directional controls that I give the the ship that I'm flying. The next thing is afterburner, and that's going to be the shift key. Afterburner is just a, a, a straight up turbo boost from your rear jets, and uh, it, it puts you into a pretty fast forward progression, but, uh, but the cost of that is that since you're in space, it takes a little bit longer and it's a little harder to slow down. And, and you'll notice that uh, I'm starting to black out a little bit, my character, it's starting to get a little fuzzy around the edges. So, uh, so Afterburner uh, is a good way to close distance and pull real tight, real quick, uh, maneuvers. Now let's talk about safeties. So uh, over here, where it's set here, let me, uh, I'm going to press Z, press and hold Z to let me just look around without actually aiming the nose of my ship anywhere. So uh, here, let's actually give us a little better backdrop. There we go. So coupled G safe and comms tab are three different safeties that you can use. Uh, you can turn off or on uh, according to the situation you're in, according to your personal preference. First thing we're going to talk about is coupled. So coupled is uh, the benefit of flying in space rather than atmosphere. So if I turn off coupled with the C key, I can turn it back on with the C key. It just toggles it on and off. So I'm going to press C again to decouple, to, to put me in a decoupled mode. And now... If I press the W key, it doesn't throttle up. All it does is thrust forward. So I press and hold W, and then I let go of it. But since I'm in couple decoupled mode, my, my ship is not going to slow itself down. And in fact, if I aim in a different direction, my ship still goes in the original direction. And if I want to stop, I'm going to have to do it manually by pressing S. And that's going to thrust me in the opposite direction. But you notice I don't go down to zero. I'm actually now moving backwards. 
And uh, I'll, I can turn and aim in the, uh oh, I might hit something. If I turn around and aim, now I'm going forward. So the aiming in decoupled mode doesn't have anything to do with uh, which direction you're going or how fast you're going. That's all manual thrust. Now they've given you a convenient, if I hold Z again, a convenient little reticle over here to tell you which direction your ship is going in. So I'm, I'm drifting slightly to the right and going forward. If I press control, that's going to move. Now my ship is moving down. And you'll notice that no, nothing in the ship is slowing me down because I'm in space. There's no atmosphere. There's no gravity. Uh, I'm just drifting along. Now, if I want to stop, I can turn coupled mode back on throttle down to zero, and now my ship will stop. If ever you're in emergency, you can also hold uh, Alt and the, the left Alt and X. So if I get going over here, throttle up, and let's say, uh, oh no, I'm about to hit that, that big asteroid, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be a problem. I, I don't think my ship's gonna survive that. Alt X is space break. It'll just stop you. It'll use boost. It'll, it'll get you uh, in stationary real quick. Now, if I let go of it, I'm gonna throttle back up. I'll be heading towards that uh, rock again. So I'm gonna, you know, not hit it. So, uh, so there's a couple of different techniques to get you moving around. So coupled and decoupled, handy dandy. The next thing, G safe. If I press the V button, turns G safe off. Now V actually controls multiple uh, safeties. So if I toggle through them, It'll turn G safe on and off. It'll turn comms tab on and off. Uh, and then it'll cycle through them. So uh, just know that. So when I press uh, V, G safe goes off. G safe slows your ship's ship down at, at critical moments to prevent your character from blacking out. When it's off, you can go quicker. You can use your afterburner to pull some pretty tight maneuvers and curves. Uh, but you have the potential and the danger of blacking out. And of course, if you black out in the middle of a fight, you're in trouble uh, or in the middle of a race. So let's see how, uh, let's see if I can get my character to black out a little bit. So just by changing direction, yep, there he goes. All right. So that's what happens with the G safe is off. You black out and then you come to. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully you come to and you haven't died. Uh, so uh, only when you're racing. Uh, or, or in, if you're a really good pilot in combat, uh, you can turn your G-safe off, and then if you start to black out, you need to uh, change how tough and how tight you're cornering to make sure that you don't uh, that you get the blood necessary to your brain to keep functioning. So the next one is comms tab. So I've turned G-safe back on and comms tab off. Comms tab is a little more difficult to explain. It it slows your ship down when you're turning so that you don't drift as much during the turn. So with it off, I'm gonna get going full speed with afterburner, and then I'm gonna turn this way, and it's not, even though I'm coupled, I'm, it, it eventually corrects it back, but there's a lot more drift. There's a lot more uh, sliding to the side as I make those turns. And uh, comms tab, when it's on, when I get going and turn and drift, uh, I won't drift nearly as much. So the, the reticle that tells me which direction my ship is traveling in comes to the center more quickly, but my, my throttle is con being controlled by the computer for me as I make these turns. So that's what comms tab does. So uh, for basic flight, I recommend using the, all of these safeties and leaving them on uh, until you get the hang of kind of what you're doing and where you're going. And uh, once you've practiced a little bit, uh, maybe in free flight or maybe using Pirate Swarm or Vandal Swarm uh, shooting at things, and you get a little more familiar with uh, where your ship is heading <laughs> when you're in control of it, uh, then you can maybe practice and, and play around with turning these safeties off and, and see if you can do a little better than the computer safeties can for you. Now, one of the challenges for me and for maybe some people out there with a mouse is that for some reason, the way my brain is wired, uh, when I move the mouse up, I actually want my nose 
of my ship to go down. And when I move the mouse down, to me, the nose of the ship should go up. But of course, that's really difficult with the reticle because when I think about a mouse on the screen, when I move the mouse up, I want the reticle to go up. So it gets a little confusing. Now you can go into the controls and invert all of that, but um, uh, it, it makes it, there, it's kind of a lose-lose for me. And so maybe your brain is wired that way too. Maybe up is down, down is up when it comes to pitch. Uh, so if that's the case, I'm really going to recommend that you uh, l play with a joystick, which is what I do. Uh, joystick's going to make a lot more sense. You you might lose some of the uh, n the gimbal aim, the the, but we'll talk about more of that in combat. Um, for now, know that you can go into the controls, and uh, if you go all the way over here, not to key bindings, but to controls, there's all these inversion settings. So. Uh, Inversion settings on foot, flight, flight movement. You can turn the flight pitch to yes. And now when we go back, now when I, I'm, I'm actually moving my mouse up and my aim goes down and I move my mouse down and my aim goes up. This may be better for you. And, uh, and likewise, if you find that the left and right is in inversion is is necessary it's really a preference there's no wrong choice here so you can go into these inversion settings and the, under the controls and change to whatever you most prefer i'm going to i'm going to go back to all nose which is the default and uh, we're going to go back into the uh, flight view so that's basic flight. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, don't worry, uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to respond. And uh, of course, like, subscribe if you enjoyed and appreciated the video. If you didn't appreciate the video, like and subscribe anyway. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And uh, of course, if you uh, are interested in, in learning more about Star Citizen, uh, keep coming back. I'll, be keep posting, I'll keep posting videos and uh, please use my referral code if you start an account and buy a ship package. Uh, I've got a tutorial about how to do that. Uh, links in the description below. So uh, uh, I hope that helped and uh, I'll see you in the verse.